Hello everyone, uh, Sean here, uh, known as the Brownlow King in circles throughout Australia. Uh, and I suppose just to explain briefly where I got the name from, the Brownlow King, I suppose it dates back uh, to many years where uh, winning a fair bit of money off the bookmakers, I think it was well publicised in 2010. I won over a million dollars when Chris Judd landed the major prize and cleaned up on the multis of the plays at the various clubs and a lot of the exotic forms of betting on the Brownlow. Uh, many other years have been, you know, nice little wins for me. So very hard to get on with the corporate bookies these days, but uh, very excited to announce that I've joined the guys down at Brownlow Genius for 2014 and beyond. And I'm going to be the guy who's going to be analysing every game of AFL this year and letting all of you know who I believe are the guys, you know, to keep an eye on and who are playing well throughout the year and I'll be providing all the votes which make up the Brownlow genius voting on the Brownlow in 2014. So thought I'd kick off this with an intro uh, to the season. I'm extremely excited. Didn't sleep well last night with uh, counting down now the number of sleeps until the kickoff on Friday night, Collingwood v Frio for the season. And I just thought I'd give you a quick overview as to how I feel the year may unfold. Each year uh, before the season, I like to list the main players that I'll be really keeping an eye on, who I believe can win the Brownlow or, or run very close. And I'll just whiz through some of those for you. Interestingly enough, I've got Paddy Dangerfield from Adelaide on top this year. Again, this is pre-season, so anything can happen with injuries and suspension. But Danger comes off 22 votes last year. He's only 23 years of age. Clearly in the elite bracket now. The way he runs, carries, breaks lines, kicks goals... Reminds me of Chris Judd back when he won the Brownlow at West Coast uh, as a younger guy. Very similar sort of player when Juddy was at his absolute prime. I've got Danger on top. I do uh, note that he polled eight votes in losing games last year, which included two threes. So Danger's got a great ability to rack up votes even when Adelaide don't win. And I'd be surprised if they don't win more games this year anyway. Swanee, 30-year-old uh, superstar. Previous Brownlow winner, of course, continues to poll well, was in it up to his eyeballs last year, almost took out the major prize for the second time. So Swanee always has to be respected, kicks goals as well as gets a heap of the footy. Nathan Fife, a bit like Danger, young guy from Frio. Uh, a little bit of competition over there now from David Mundy and a few of the other stars, Michael Barlow, Big Sandy coming back into it who polls well. So... That's probably the knock on Fifey, but I really will keep a good eye on him and I expect he won't get suspended this year, as he did last year. Just whizzing through some of the others, I am firmly of the opinion that once you've won two Brownlows, it's very hard to win a third one, uh, a la Chris Judd, Adam Goods. I think Gary will suffer from a little bit of that this year and the umpires won't be as you know kind to him, finding him single votes in losing games. Uh, if there's competition from some of those other Gold Coast guys, I think they'll turn Gary down a little bit, which makes it very hard to win three Brownlows. So obviously can't be underrated, the uh, little baldy from the Gold Coast. Trent Cotchen, great year 2012. Uh, missed a bit of footy last year with injury, so I expect him to bounce back and be right in contention if he has a great year. Joel Selwood, we all saw what happened last year, almost grabbed the Brownlow. I expect him to be in the mix, keeping a great eye on him this year, of course. His partner in crime, Stevie J, uh, polled you know, enormously last year. I expect Stevie J to be in the mix. Gets a lot of the footy and kicks goals, of course. Pendles, Swanee's partner in crime at Collingwood. Just doesn't poll as well as he should, but I really feel at some stage that's going to turn. He's always in the mix. Captain of the football club now down at Collingwood, so watch for Pendles, potentially to have a better Brownlow year. Joby, the 2012 winner, of course, has to be respected. Who knows what's going on in the minds of all the Essendon players, though. Sammy Mitchell, is there a bit of sympathy? Uh, obviously didn't poll as well last year, as some thought he may. However, there could be a bit of sympathy this year, and who knows if Clarko doesn't play him a bit more in the middle, rather than just off half-back, which clearly the umpires didn't like last year. Uh, here's a few of the other guys, just to keep it on. I can group them all together. Dan Hanabry and Kieran Jack, both from Sydney. Always in the mix, as you'd expect. Both polled well last year. Little Libba, his father won a Brownlow, of course, Tony Libertore. Look out for Little Libba down the doggies to uh, poll really well once again. Pretty sure it was 14 votes last year. Only a young guy has to be watched. Uh, Beamsy at Collingwood, back in the mix, a bit like a new recruit down there. So he polled very well in 2012. So look for Beamsy if he can stay fit to be in the mix with uh, Pendles and Swanee down at Collingwood. Uh, Travis Boak, of course, uh, captain of the Port Adelaide Footy Club, superstar of the game. 
does have a bit more competition over there uh, this year. And I'm not so sure they can win as many games as they did in 2013. So, in summing up, looking forward to a great year. As I said, I'm the guy behind Brownlow Genius is voting on the Brownlow, uh, Sean the Brownlow King. Looking forward to a great year. I plan to do a video like this each week just to give a bit of an overview of what happened with some of the main players in the weekend's games. And of course, throughout the season, compiling all the votes like I always do. And I'll talk a bit more about it as the year unfolds as to how I actually do do my voting. So signing off now, look out for me on Twitter at BrownlowKing underscore. And I'll be continuing to tweet throughout the AFL season, which will start this week, of course. Look forward to a great year and hopefully all the guys behind me can stay fit and suspension free and really get amongst it in 2014. Thank you.